Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are good. Off of the ground. <laughs> So as you can tell by the title today I'm going to be doing the Filipino tag. If you guys didn't know I am from the Philippines, I am 100% Filipino. If you guys have seen my DNA video, <laughs> turns out that I'm 100% Filipino so I'm not mixed with anything as the results say. But obviously we're not getting into that. I thought I'd do a Filipino tag so you guys can get to know more about my culture, about where I'm from and yeah. So first question, when was the last time you were in the Philippines? So the last time was literally last year, January. Um, I was there from December to January, so I celebrated um, Christmas and New Year's there. Really wanted to go again this year, like December times to January, but obviously Corona. Second question, name one Filipino dish you enjoy the most and why? I'd say this is probably like an unpopular dish, but personally, I love dinoguan. Like, dinoguan is, it's just, ugh. It's basically pig's blood, yeah, which is really bad. I know being pig is not the best thing in the world, but Filipino culture has a lot of pork dishes, so like I kind of grew up on that and I can't give that up. That's me having to give up on a lot of food, especially when it comes to like Filipino parties, events, and stuff like that. Name two Filipino household items that best resembles our culture Walis and Dabot. Walis is like a like a broom but it's like our version. That water is basically like a little bucket that you use. So we have a big bucket where we put the water that we use in the bath or the shower and then the table is the like the little bucket cup thing that you use to like scoop the water and put all over you. Or you can just use it in the toilet to like wipe your <laughs> It's just obviously in Philippines not everything is like as modernized as it is in a western country so you know gotta do what you gotta do with what you have question number four do you know how to speak in tagalog if so say a phrase or two so i'm not very fluent but i do know a few phrases kamusta um <laughs> what else do i know kamusta um wow this is terrible like i, I can understand whenever like my mom speaks but I can't speak it fluently because I just don't know how to like pronounce certain things. I'm not confident in speaking it. Oh, I can't think of anything right now. Uh, number five, which part of the Philippines are you from? See, my mom's from Iloilo and my dad's from Ilocos. Another question is, do you live in the Philippines? No, I do not. I was born in Spain and then I moved to London. So... I haven't really lived in Philippines for very long. It's always just visiting family like for like a month or so. I did think about li living in the Philippines though, like um, especially like Manila, the city. I would love to like just, you know, be around my culture, be around my people and just like learn more and hopefully like learn Tagalog, like be more fluent in it. Yeah, I have thought about that, but obviously that's a big move. Like that's to the other side of the world, pretty much. Next question, what is the stereotype about Filipinos? Typical stereotype is one, there's a few. One, that we eat dogs. Personally, I would never do it. My mom, I know my mom's never done it, but I have heard of people who have done it and I can't relate. Yeah, another stereotype is like, Philippines has its own culture like if you don't know about like Southeast Asia or just Asians in general like we all have a different cultures and I feel like people just automatically think like oh you're from China and it's like how ignorant can you be like hello there are so many other Asian countries listen I get annoyed when it comes to these kind of things yeah I remember like um just like even things like when people call you like Ling Ling or like Ching Chong like it's not funny like I don't find it funny and for you to even say that out loud with your chest to me is just like bro do you wanna fight? <laughs> Next question do you own a karaoke machine? I actually don't the place that I live in right now I don't own a karaoke machine however any Filipino household will have a karaoke machine. I don't know why Filipinos love karaoke, it's just... We like to sing, clearly. <laughs> um, sing your favourite Filipino song. Ooh! Um, 
These are like very old Filipino songs. I don't really listen to Filipino songs like that. I have a few on my playlist, but oh, I should do a Filipino playlist. No, 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 I got. <laughs> and then I know what sort. So I don't know if you guys know about that. It's basically when you break your back, you literally have to like kind of like bend your back here and then you're like basically going up and down I can't do it right now and I'm not gonna do it <laughs> but this was my song and I used to do it when I was younger next question have you tried balut? yes I have and when I was younger I wasn't really aware of what a balut was and if you don't know what balut is it's basically a fertilised egg obviously when I was younger I didn't know what it was so I was just eating it put a bit of salt tasted pink it was like a boiled egg but obviously there was bits but now that I know what it is, I can't mentally eat it without thinking about what it is. Even though it still tastes kind of nice. Like I eat around it and then after that like I can't. Because you can literally see the head, the eyes. Yeah, no. <laughs> what is your least favourite thing about being a Filipino? If you know me, I love the fact that I am Filipino. I love the fact that I'm from the Philippines. I'm a very proud Filipino. But one thing that I don't like is the colorism in the Philippines. But it's basically the paler you look, the more rich you look, and the darker you are, then you're just labeled as poor, which is like a bunch of BS. Because like, whenever I go to the Philippines, I want to tan. I want to, you know, look as dark as I can. And but it doesn't mean that I'm poor. It doesn't mean that I'm coming from like, you know, a low income. It's just that stereotype, that mindset is very backwards and I hate that. You know when you go to like the shops where like they have like creams and stuff like that, they have a lot of whitening like products and it's really like sad because people like, it's like the norm there and having whitening products it's just, it has like its own section, its own shelf like people actually go out of their way to buy that kind of stuff and I would never touch those products honestly like What's your favourite thing about being a Filipino? Just our culture, like our food, our traditions. I feel like a lot of Filipinos are very family orientated, like we all love our family, we all take care of our family from like the elders, like the way we show them respect and stuff like that, the way we like, you know, just have so many cousins, so many siblings. I'm an only child but I have enough cousins. <laughs> <laughs> to basically say I have siblings so next question do you eat Goldilocks on a regular basis oh if Goldilocks existed in London I probably would but they don't but whenever I go to the Philippines or like Spain um I have it like at least once a day like it's just an essential like how can you not eat Goldilocks Goldilocks is like an everyday essential. But I think if Goldilocks did exist in London, I'd probably be fat because I'd be buying everything and anything from them. And if you don't know what Goldilocks is, it's basically like a bakery brand. Yeah, they do like cakes, muffins, and if you don't know about Ube, they pretty much all the desserts are like made out of Ube. Ube is like a purple yam, um, it goes in a lot of our desserts. The way we have KFC all over London is the way Goldilocks is in like the Philippines in terms of like the amount of shops that there are. Okay, another question. Are you inseparable from your family? Yes, I love my family. Even though I have family all over the world, like everyone's kind of spread out. I honestly love them all. Like all my uncles, aunties, god brothers, god sisters, cousins, I love them all. But I feel like that should be a typical thing with anyone, but I understand like not everyone's like that. However, I feel like the way Filipinos tend to grow up is like, you know, it's very family orientated. So I feel like that tradition, it kind of carries on throughout the kids and stuff like that and future generations. Yeah, and I think that is it. That is all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something new and I hope you guys learn about the Philippines, my culture and about myself. So yeah, before we end the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications on so that you never so that you know whenever I upload a video and yeah, comment down below what other videos you want to see from me because I'm trying to post as much as I can and I want to keep it interesting for you guys. I feel like I need to switch up sometimes. It's not everyday shoes in the know like boxes there but anyways the usual don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye